Hi everyone, I have a new video on the topic of Eggdis for you and in today's short video, I will talk to you about the different ways to update and correct the electronic navigation charts available in your Eggdis system. Please watch the video till the end because I will also show you how to go into the Eggdis and choose your preferred method of updating or correction of the charts. So there are mainly three types of methods available in the transas system that I will show you. And this is pretty much the same for other systems as well. So the first one is the auto update or update by network is the option provided. So update by network, there are a couple of different ways to do that. The first one is the auto update. So in this auto update, the company pays for a subscription based service and the service provides the update of charts for you. So you have to do nothing. It is taken care of by a third party who are being paid to do so. The payment will of course depend on whether they will only cover the voice charts or they will cover all the charts that depends on your shipping company. The ship then needs to carry a, an agreement, an agreement which has to be produced in front of the post state inspector or the auditors tomorrow that is a document that provides evidence or it is a proof of the fact that the corrections the chart corrections are carried out by a third party so that they bear the responsibility not the seafarers or the mariners the second method in update by network is the update through attachments so the system electronic navigation charts are updated through attachments an example being that you might get an email or a link to the updates. So the service provider provides soft data files. So you can go and click on the link or the email will provide the link. And again, uh, the payment method will determine whether they will only update the voice charts or all the charts that are available in your system. The third method in update by network is uh, accessing a service provider through the internet. So the through a www or World Wide Web address, uh, they will have the electronic navigation charts data set and they will also have the electronic navigation chart catalog publication. So uh, they, the, if you are accessing the service provider through the Internet, then those guys will require your hardware ID because uh, they will provide the system updates for your specific system. So they provide something called a data exchange set. So they provide one with a password and you then download it to a USB or a hard disk drive or a CD-ROM and then you give it to the second mate. Normally the master is only authorized to do so. So the master will be provided the information. It is an encrypted information. The master then downloads it onto the USB and then gives it to the second mate to correct the charts. All right. The second method is update by disk where updates are provided in a CD-ROM or a USB drive. They come in just like you get your weekly notices to mariners. These updates are provide, provided to the seafarers or the, uh, the seafarers and the mariners periodically and you just insert the disk and you correct the charts. And the third one is the manual update, which I will discuss in detail in a separate video where I'll actually show you how to do the manual corrections. And this is the one that you guys as seafarers and mariners have to take very seriously because these manual corrections are the ways of adding let's say firing exercises or submarine cables or warnings that are coming through navtex you are adding the corrections manually to the system electronic navigation chart not to the enc but the scnc or a system electronic navigation chart you you have, i'm sure you have watched my previous video where i have explained the difference between electronic navigation chart and system electronic navigation chart all right so these are the three methods and uh, now I will show you uh, the video where you can go or how you can go into the Exist system and then choose your preferred method of updating and correcting the electronic navigation charts. So to select your preferred method of chart updating and correction, go to chart, chart types, select the database from which you are using the charts, click manage, then you can choose your method so you have the update here so update by network update by disk or update manually if you update manually or any of the ways you can review the update as well make sure you have the latest chart catalog and the permits 
make sure you update your exdis and planning station before requesting a custom exchange of your voice charts no matter which method you use make sure that you always use updated charts and corrected charts i will in my next video i will show you how to uh, correct it manually and then review your updates and then how to delete it as well i'll show you how to add uh, text as corrections uh, how to add the drawings or how to add boys or symbols as well but this is where you go and can select your preferred method of correction